Did you notice he met Michael? Do you notice he met Michael at the window? You know his name is Tessie. And we first talked in June. And then he messaged me a week ago to say he was he's got a rust coloured vehicle, but now I know he's also got that. Going hunting. Is that um he signed off his message to me. As Michael. He said kind regards Michael. And I just messaged him back out. I thought it's Michael now. That's formal. You know, like suddenly we're on first names and not nicknames. And he laughed and he said, Oh, I forgot I told you my nickname. Anyway, I've just read in between load and bunt part one. I, I just read, read the um, email that I just got. And I might as well tell you what I just dreamt because I was having a sleep, right? So there was a man in, um, in a boat. And he was taking the boat out over the um the rapids you know the rapids it was um like a rowboat and he went out and it's like i was in the boat and i watched it tip and roll and it, like if i was in that boat like i was being tossed you ever been out in the breakers and you know when it's really fierce and I was rolling like I, yeah it was me was rolling you know I wasn't on the boat I was watching it and then um, I think the man was then standing on the shoreline and then I heard the Lord say something to me he said this Now you've been polished. One, two. Like two sides of a coin. Well, today was the official day that tribute goes to Christchurch, right? So I gave my tribute. I'm the coin and I've been polished. One, two. Now you're polished. The ocean did it. You understand? Now you're polished. One, two. Now his name is Michael and I thought, it's Michael. And when I bought the word, I think I've mentioned Tessie before, I said imposter. So it sort of came with those words about imposter. And I'm just trying to think of what I'm going to put on the two thumbnails. And I have two things. One was, I was looking at the newspaper at Brian's today when the dogs were mating. And that's when I took the wee video of fire outside with the pups and Michael. And tribute and everything was good because last time tribute and fire met was in the car and there was a fight and I said oh I might as well tell you the group so on that video where I had Brian sitting on the step and the puppies all around him I just said well glory puppies will have this environment outdoors in the grass and I'm bringing them home with me at six weeks and weaning them and I might as well tell you now that Tribute 
has been rehomed. I, I just said I'd made a mess of it with terming female matriarchs, which is not really true. But I'm not really... It's not, not necessary for them to know that God has had me give up two of my dogs. So on the 23rd, I'm going to Christchurch and delivering tribute. And it was official today. And that was the coin, one, two. And on the newspaper, at the table, lovely Brian served me up some hot milk and wheat bits. I noticed some articles on the front page. One was that it was the second time, and it was dated the 12th. The 12th is when the Lord said, you've been warned, and that's about this French movement that was supposed to be global, and I don't know how it went, where we were to turn all our lights and everything off in the house for 21 minutes. At the same time, no matter what, time it was across the, the globe as a sign of unity. Now the shape the Lord has given me is like an octagonal shape. It's the same shape that went into the mouth of Swallow in the movie I watched previously. So I watched a movie called Swallow and she went to her father's house who was a rapist and there was a yellow and red balloon there and she confronted him and then like she sort of faced her demons and she went to a mall after she'd seen a doctor and she swallowed and all through the movie she was swallowing strange objects but this time sharp objects and she was pregnant and she was risking losing the baby doing these things <clears throat> but it was just a strange type of um, self-harm self-harm anyway she self-harmed she swallowed a pill and they made a big deal of showing the shape of this pill there was two of them two pills and they were shaped just like the emblem of this email I've just received which has a symbol emblem of people, their heads and shoulders and arms shaped like the shape of the pill she put in either cheek. She was directed to put one in each cheek. And then there's a scene of her in the bathroom with the blood in the toilet. The baby's gone and that was the last thing she swallowed. Isn't that nice? So that's swallow and that's the shape and that's the pill and that's the emblem and that's the trap. They all get herded. Do you hear me? They all get herded. So this is you've been warned. Gary probably won't like this, but he may, he needs to make a choice what haven he chooses because this is not a place where you can hide behind some clever tricks at lawyers doctors fact finding ministries the lord told me they exist this needs to happen but i'm different and i'm not swallowing the the pill. I'm not swallowing the bitter pill. Do you understand? <laughs> One, two. You've been polished. Do you want to be a polished tribute coin? Do you? Pete, where do you, what's on the coin? So now the confirmation is... There is blackout on the main street of Greymouth that they're complaining about that happened on the 12th, which is the day that the lights were supposed to go out, that I put that video up on the 12th. I saw it on the newspaper. They 
had to shut down all the cafeterias and, and it was very inconvenient and there had been one a week before and there was a picture of them holding this massive big valve you know like a big valve like goes in an old radio and it reminded me of the video that Jonathan Kleck put up where the man says there's only one thing I'm afraid of and it's the cutlet fish and Gary laughs his head off when I say cutlet but it's not cutlet and I can't say it's cullet or I, <laughs> I don't care I love it when people laugh at these things <laughs> so it's the cutlet fish so I don't know how long this will stay up but I have got a link from Logic Before Authority and he's got a theory of what it is as well and I'm only just halfway through and I've screenshot the picture of this creature. So there's that I want to put on the thumbnail as well. Just a heads up. You might have to go to his other channels. It's on tro uh, it's on YouTube. But people, he, he has them disappear after 24 hours. And I know that's from God because what a difference a day makes was what I put up this morning. So I may get to, I may miss it, but what a difference a day makes. So I'll share that information and um, what the, this creature is is something that lights up. I think that's very important. It's lit. It's very important. That colour green that Beautiful's got in her mouth and that tinsel, right? So the other thing that's on the front of the newspaper is this. So these are blackouts and it was the 12th of September. There's the fact that the west coast is one of the least statistically counted which we can't always believe lead in the whole of the nation the west coast right there we're falling behind and it looks like we're falling we're in a, we're in about 70 something percent and the rest of the nation is 82 so we're sitting behind you know maybe 10 or 12 percent which is significant they said so we've got our vaxathon tomorrow and um they're thinking of helping transport these people because that's the problem you know they live in rural areas and they can't get there that's the problem <laughs> i don't think it is on the east on the other side we're doing the opposite over there in Christchurch. now they are winning in the competition for compliance yes because it's the most religious city but I know why it's because that's where the Lord is moving he's going to start in Christchurch and the fire is going to go up he's bringing a word to the Māori people now, more importantly, is the ad on the newspaper. It's a one and two dollar coin, like the ones that fell in the fish and chip shop. Can you see why the Lord did a miracle the day before my husband cast me out? The coins, the gold coins that fell from the fish and chip shop ceiling, which I've confirmed and I can get another witness if my son sorts out his little recording of his dad testifying to it as well. The coins fell in the fish and chip shop. It's the harvest, but it's the Lord when he's coming. Remember, the fish and chip shop is Matthew 20 to 11. It's the day of the baptism, and it's also... What Carrie Ann Gibbon was given as a dream in 2016, when she went up an escalator, talked to a bank teller, then a man, where she had an unction to ask the bank teller, when does the Antichrist come? And the bank teller just looked like she was crazy. And then she looked, and there was a a man at a table eating. He was like in a mall, like I was. I met. I picture a food court. He was eating chips off newspaper and he looked like Jesus and he was counting them. And he was saying, very, each one he moved and counted. 
Fury, 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 and I think she, she said at least 30, and then she said soon. And the Lord gave her a scripture in Luke. Did she say it was in Luke? She said he gave her a scripture, and when I watched that video, the Lord quickened to me the scripture that she forgot to write down. It was Luke 14. You've got Matthew 22, that chapter, and Luke 14, and that's your harvest, and that's Jesus, that's when he comes. It's pretty important, isn't it? And it all has to do with your tribute, and I paid my tribute. My tribute was yellow, and I got to keep tribute, and now I've lost tribute too. I had to give tribute away. But it's the coin that falls, it's the miracle, it's like what happened. It's like the mana that fell because then there was a follow-up miracle just in case Joseph didn't get it of the bread. The bread rolls falling at the beach. So now we've got the rowboat being tossed in the waves and the Lord saying, you have been polished. Isn't that beautiful? So... I'm going to have to cut all with these thumbnails. I've got the ad with the two coins. You need to see that. I've got the emblem for the email I've been given, which is basically doctors against the V. And I've got the lady who puts the shape pill, one in each cheek, in the movie Swallow as a conclusion. And where do you think she's sitting? And she doesn't she's in a food court and she's eating chips from mcdonald's it's just another version of the same thing but the vagabond i saw outside the city now he had her beautiful white plate and around the plate was a bit of everything leftover fish and chips battered mushroom, battered sausage, a wee fish bite and a few big chunky chips. And um, that is your harvest. Your harvest looks like Jesus. Because that's what that man eating fish and chips look like. Fish and chips look like look like Jesus. So one, two, you're polished.